Hello. We're moving into our last spring month here at Homegrown Veg in the United Kingdom and all the forecasters are telling us that this is likely to be the driest spring since records began in the United Kingdom. These are my two water butts. That's my dog Meg. I'm not too sure. I don't think she's even in shot. Come here Meg. Come here sweetheart. That's Meg. My two water butts. My greenhouse. We'll go inside shortly and have a look at my tomatoes that I've got started. Now's the time of year we need water. Lots of it. The sun hasn't stopped shining for well over a month. It's never rained. I can't remember when it did last rain. These are probably nearly empty. We'll empty them today. I'll show you my rain collection system and I'll tell you that the water in that came from my bath. Didn't come, didn't come as rain, it came as bath water. But I'll explain that to you when we go around the corner. But first, we're going to empty these two butts and then we'll need to use what we've got in my rain collection system which currently isn't collecting any rain. Okay. This is the downspout of the conservatory roof and this is where it would normally discharge. This is a spare piece of gutter in that if I slide it underneath it discharges into the gutter in. And if we have a look at the other end of the gutter in It discharges into air. Of course, it needs to be raining for that to happen, doesn't it? So the rainwater discharges into this container. 
simple piece of garden hose he uses a siphon moves it from that container to that container another simple piece of garden hose takes it from that container to that container how about that? I'll give you a link to a video I made some time ago that explains this siphon system and how it works um, I can't recall how much detail there is in there but I'll give you a link anyway um, and I also promised to show you bath water didn't I? How do I get water from the bath into these when it's not raining? Yeah I promised to show you that so I'll show you that now Okay, so that's how we do it here at homegrown veg when we're in a drought situation and it looks as though the forecasters are right we're going to be. Now before we sign off let's pop in the greenhouse and water these tomatoes because they're gagging for it. But I've got these tomatoes growing in fabric bags. I've got some strings to the underside of the roof to support them when they get big enough. And I've got the bags standing in trays. Now I could simply put this water in the tray and the compost would wick it up through those fabric bags into the uh, growing medium. Tomatoes would get it from, from the bottom. But my worry is that the more water I put in those trays, the more water it's going to take because quite a bit of that will evaporate. I've no idea how much, but I'm fairly confident a lot of it will evaporate. So we're not going to water from the bottom, we're not going to water in the trays, we're going to water the mix directly, like this. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it. Looking forward to a better year this year than I had last year with my tomatoes. Um, but who knows? Who knows what we're going to get? This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.